Welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. This is Flashback Friday. A little fishing from two years ago, Christmas time in Wilmington, North Carolina. Enjoy. My battle plan for today is a double hook bottom rig. I have a pyramid sinker and very likely size four hooks. That's usually what I'm using when I'm going after the whiting or spot. See the whitings are going good, huh? And the other night they're out here about the next size up. Yeah. yeah. Them off. During the night? How late? Yeah. Uh, shortly after dark. Oh, really? Yeah. See if you make me think about coming back. Uh, so I gotta go yeah. I gotta go and serve at a nursing home here at, a, at about six six o'clock. I, I might oh. stroll back out here after dark and see what's happening. I I filled that little great cooler the whole way up to the bait. Alright. And uh, just what you're doing. Yeah. But it just seemed funny. It just seemed like right at dark the bigger ones started coming in. That's <laughs> interesting. That's, that's a, you give me something to ponder. <laughs> My luck, you'll come out here and I'll catch a thing. <laughs> hey, it's Dude. like that sometimes. Ain't what, that the truth? What you, what you gonna do? Yeah, you all you can do. Know. All you can do is wet your line and see. For this outing, I'm using my pin battle. I also have my rod that I bought from LL Bean with the big eyes, which I like a lot. And um, also my bait is shrimp and fish bites. So we're getting it in. Whereabouts did you set up the other night? Were you up on this end or? That's right where you're standing. Okay. There's about four of us out here. Gotcha. I got my small 3000 reel. Because gotcha. I was using this, I'm like, it's a pain in a butt. <laughs> cast out reel in, cast out reel in. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you gotta go out there. There's like a little little drop off out there if they like. Yeah. Sometimes sort of you like, gotta get on out it there. It seems to be right out there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was giving the bigger ones I caught to the one fella. Uh huh. Because all I was doing was getting bait, you know. And uh, he was giving me a smaller one. Gotcha. We just did it. Trade off. That makes sense. Yeah. Did tufts anyhow. So they were up. They were bigger than yeah, these. No, they were about like about that. that size. Yeah, that size. And you know. Everyone, you know how it was. There. Every once in a while, you get a big dog. That's a good thing. Right. I tell you what, I went up to Wrightsville Beach today thinking I was going to try to drum up some luck and threw my lure and put some shrimp out there. Yeah. I tell you, I barely got a bite. I was at the south end, no the inlet, barely got a bite. Too, but I was like, they're on this shrimp, and I've had this shrimp for a couple of days, and it's kind of like getting old, so I'm like, I need to go ahead and use it up before it starts to stink. But uh, but I got those fish bites. I got uh, I got the chartreuse shrimp, and I have the uh, sand flea. And I was like, I um, was up here probably like a month ago now. I think it was a school of Benita came through, and I had a spoon, <laughs> about a six dollar spoon. I had to put that in there because I lost it. I tossed it in, I flipped it in the back, backhanded into that school and yanked up, and all of a sudden he was taking drag. Felt good for a minute, but he ran me under the pier and broke me off. Uh. But I'm pretty sure either of the big blue or the school of them, because they were like, they were just like tearing the water up, like right in front of the pier down here. And I just flipped into them, hooked up and fought him for about three, four, five minutes, and. Ran me under the pier and that was all she wrote. One of my friends, I didn't hook up with it, but one of my friends last Thursday uh -huh. uh, hooked up with a, and we beached it, a seven foot bull shark. Oh, really? That's a big one. Nice. Generally, they don't get that big. That's a serious fish. That big. That's a serious fish. Yeah. What bait did you have on there? Blue? A blue head. Wow. Yeah.
Yeah, I might just check that temperature. See, put on me some extra layers and come back out here. Yeah, I, I might. I might just might. I don't know. Tell them what that was. down here and I was in the car, I mean I was in the back, I sang tenor and I was up on the deck and uh, we get down here and Kevin says, okay Chris you're in the choir, lead us in some songs. I'm like, there's a huge difference in being in the choir and being a song leader. Cause I'm like, song leader, you gotta keep tempo, you gotta know all the words, you know, you can't be back there just, you know what I mean? But if you leading it, that's a whole other thing. And I found that out real quick. But uh, come a long way. Still a lot, lot to learn. Just trying to get out of the way and, and let the song happen, you know? Right. Try not to make it about me. There you go, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> From me and my family to you and your family, Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year.